Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel TKF Electronics. I hope you are all fine. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe it and don't forget to press bell bell icon whenever I upload new videos that you will give uh, you will receive an immediate notification. So today I have got for repair Sony Home Theater DZ350 model. Uh, let's show you. This is the model. See. Okay guys. So let's switch it on this one. Switch it on. So on. So I will connect to the Bluetooth. I will connect to the Bluetooth now. So guys, I have already connected to the Bluetooth to my mobile. So but there is no sound. See, the volume is 30 maximum. I just connect the speaker also. I'll show you. See guys, it's working. But we'll just check the output. <coughs> this speaker this is the original Sony speaker. So connect it, it's working. There is no connector for this one. See, there is no no sound output. So there is no output. All six not coming. See only six. But the volume is full. See volume is full. I just show you. See it's working and volume also full. But there is no audio. See. See maximum value but still there is no audio so let's check what's the issue inside just keep watching my video guys let's open i already unscrew this one so all six screws will open it so let's check what's the issue In this the board is very clean see it's clean so somebody open it and maybe uh, clean with the air so no need to clean with the air so just we'll check it out what the issue is just keep watching my video guys first we'll check some voltages on stream ic on this ic as you know there is no sound coming out from this uh, avr from this home theater so let's connect this to the ground okay guys now so we'll check some voltages uh, this team I see EAS5538 on this pin number we'll check uh, the pin number 9 is uh, plus B supply so we'll check plus B is coming on or on pin number 9 see guys 3.1 is coming this means pin number and the supply pin plus B and on pin number 11 we'll check on pin number 11 1.4 this is also okay and on pin number 22 and 23 we will check that also so on pin number 22 1.6 20, so this is also okay 23 21, 23, this is also okay. And on pin number 28, 1.8 should come. This is also okay. So, guys, input pins are all okay. And uh, remember, on output pin, pin number uh, 52, on will check. So, guys, on pin number 50, which this is supply pin, pin number 50. Okay, 3.1. Pin number 50, 51 is ground, 52, 52 actually I am supposed to get here 1.8 volt. See guys, there is no voltage. This is PWD IC, pulse width modulator VR, variable pulse width modulator IC. So on pin number 52, there is no output. 
pin number 52 so it means IC is faulty how uh, our pin number 8 uh, 28 is 1.8 this is VR the IG IC it is actually digital input IC okay guys the so same I should get 1.8 volt on pin number 52 but it's not coming so I'm sure uh, IC is faulty but it's not getting much hot but anyway we will replace the IC we will replace the IC with the new one I got the new IC with me I got the new IC with me so we will replace this IC with new one TAS5538 uh, we'll, uh, we'll desolder this IC and put the new one just keep watching my video guys so guys we will try to remove this IC stream IC So be careful, you should not damage the track. See guys, stick out. It's hot. So it's quite hot. So we have removed the old defective IC. So now we'll change with the new one. This is the new one. So keep it this aside, the old one. So first clean the track, everything clean it completely neat so that when you solder it, it will catch the solder very nicely guys we have already cleaned the area see very nice so now so now we will fix new IC in this just keep watching my video so guys we will fix new IC now is this the old one this is the old one we keep the old one here and this is the new one so we'll fix the new ic now step by step just watch my video guys So oh guys, as you have seen, we have we changed this IC stream IC task 5538 TAS 5538. So we have already soldered the IC, just cleaning everything. So guys, I'll just show you. So guys, we have soldered the IC. See, so it should be like that. So now we'll do one thing, we'll give input signal and we'll check the audio output also. Just keep watching my video guys. So guys, we have already connected to Bluetooth now. Guys, now we'll, I already given input signal through Bluetooth. So I'll just check this output. All speakers one by one this is uh, front right <coughs> this is front left this is uh, surround is little high because DB is in, in increase from inside this is surround right <coughs> This is surround left. This is subwoofer. subwoofer. So guys, we have already tested all the five, six speakers output. So it's working fine. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you like my video, like it, share it. And see you in next video. Take care. Bye. Thank you very much.